Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this episode of What a Horse. I got my buddy with me. Yes, he, sir. Uh, he cruised in. We flew him in this morning. Yeah. <laughs> in a hurry. Mm -hmm. You're right about hurry, that. Hurry to get here, hurry to get back, hurry to do it all. Well, I tell you what, you do your deal and then we'll get started. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Call to Spencer Benedict Stables in Murfreesboro, 270-590-5285 or 270-590-5235. We'll provide the first step in breeding to one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry. World Grand Champion, Mr. True Blue, a consistent blue ribbon winner with a stud fee of $1,000. Or select Amateur Show Pleasure World Grand Champion, El Zaro Star, a constant winner in both open and amateur competition and has a multi-mare discount with a stud fee of $750. Both of these World Grand Champion stallions provide championship bloodlines with live bull guarantees. Take that first step in adding another world grand champion in the walking horse industry. Make the call and make your selection. I fell in love with Tennessee from the second that I saw it. From the beautiful rolling hills to the beautiful rivers and streams, the ecosystem and the wildlife are awesome here. But it needs constant care, and that means picking up litter and trash every single chance you get. It's totally polluting the ecosystem, totally polluting the natural resources, and it's a big hazard for our local wildlife. Please join NobodyTrashesTennessee.com and join me in keeping Tennessee beautiful and keeping this part of our great legacy. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. Okay, uh, we're going to start off with some announcements that uh, we got the fun show is going to start Thursday night, May 23rd. It's located in Steel Arena, Cooper Steel Arena. Uh, you can call the celebration at 684 5915, that's 931 area code. Start time is going to be 6 p.m. each night. Judges are Jamie Bradshaw. Mike Hilly and Dickie Shrivener. Tweeba is also having their meeting the 24th and the 25th. That's Friday and Saturday this week. You can call the Tweeba office, the Tennessee Walking Horse Breeders and Exhibitors Association for exactly the schedule and everything. And then uh, May the 30th, we have the Columbia Spring Jubilee. Yes. I always like the way they go back and forth. It will start at 6 p.m. each night. Scott Beatty, Scotty Brooks, and Justin Janae will be the judges. And you can call 931-797-3139 to get information on those shows. And now we're going to talk about something very important. Uh, Carol Misseldine <laughs> called me. She, she was talking about having uh, different classes. 
So we, we came up with some. She wants to have a costume class, which they've had them in the past. Yes. But uh, she, she's going to have the 11 and under. And she wanted, she called me about the, how was that set up. And I told her that what we did, we set it up for the first year, your first year of the show, in performance division. Because we had youth in the 11 and under that uh, they showed flat shot and they showed lead line, yes. but they had never shown in a performance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But she said, well, she was wanting some others, so uh, I'm going to let you do this one because this was one that you came up with is the way they do it in Mississippi. So tell everybody what it is. Oh, it just come as you are. I mean, if you blue jeans and, and collar shirt or whatever, and you want to show a horse, you just show it. And I believe I think it's a pretty good deal because you might be at the horse show and somebody there might want to show a horse but didn't have the riding suit or whatever, and they can just get up on it and show it. And I mean, it's, I mean, it's just like a regular horse show. I mean, a horse get inspected and everything else, and you just get be judged, but you just don't have to worry about having a riding suit on. Well, you can wrap the tail. Wrap the tail. Or, or let oh, it yeah. tail hang. I like that. And I mean, you, I think it'd be a fun class that you can just grab anybody that you want to out of the audience and they want to show a horse in that class, they can do it. Well, I'm, I came up with one that, uh, that I liked. Now, I, I like the idea of doing this. And that's to, uh, like if I wanted to take a horse to the horse show, I could take it and say, well, here's the entry fee and everything that's ready to go as soon as we come up with a rider. And you have a bucket full of volunteer riders. Yes. Mm -hmm. That they can reach in there and pick out a name and they'll say, well, Jerry, so-and-so's fixing to ride your horse. I ain't got no say so over <laughs> yeah, That's another. right. Now, I mean, that's a good class just to bring a little well, assignment back. To well, the I'm going to tell you what I thought it'd do. Because, number one, you're going to bring horses that are, are rideable, easy yeah. to ride, because you want people to see them. But to me, what that would do, it would show what this horse is capable of. You'd be looking more at the horse than anything else. I mean, some riders are better than other riders, yes. but what you're wanting is to see how that horse performs with a person that's never been on it before. Well, and another kicker on that is, Jerry, if you got a horse that you want to sell and you yeah. say anybody yeah. can ride him, you know, right there, there you go. You that's your proof that anybody <laughs> can ride him. You put him in that class and he's a nice horse, you know, go anybody for can it. ride him. That's right. Anybody can ride that one. Now we're going to talk about something else. We're education period. We need video of inspections that for our attorneys and it's best that the owner and the custodian do the video now in the state of tennessee you can hire somebody like if somebody said called you up and said jerry will you video my horse while it's going through inspection you can do that for yeah. them if they uh -huh. designate you but it's good to have the custodian so I went out and, and they, these are things that I've got for you to wear when you're leading one of my horses yes. through. Mm -hmm. But one of them is this GoPro. Now this GoPro is, we flew with it yesterday. It is amazing because you can hook it up while you're out there. My cell phone, I can tag it and I can see exactly what it is videoing while you're wearing it. And they've That's got amazing thing. vest that you can put on that you can tilt it forward and so forth. But now this right here is, is a valuable piece of equipment for you if you get a violation. Another one, and I really like this one, this one right here goes on your head right like this. The good part about it, when you look down, it goes down because you set it eye level to where it's coming right through here but you record everything in addition to that I always suggest that the owner or someone else from the barn stand outside the ring with your cell phone and video it too that way you've got the video from inside and you got the video from outside if you get a violation as soon as you come out of that inspection area, tell them that you want an equine vet, one of the industry's vets, to check your horse. Now, I always check mine, have mine checked 
before it ever goes to the show. And if something happened, I would have it checked before I left the arena. It might be right outside, but I'm going to make sure nobody can claim anything was changed from the time that that BMO said my horse was out. Because number one, I'm not going to let you take my horse to the show if I don't think it's ready. That's right. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to take him to the show if I don't think he's ready. Well, well, that's the whole deal. They come up, and and right now they're pulling some stuff that's just unbelievable. And it's time for this industry to say, hey, you want to do this. You want to be unethical. I consider it also dishonest. Then when we go to court, here's what you're going to have to beat. An equine veterinarian that makes their living treating horses yes. is not going to tell you your horse is in good enough shape that it can pass the inspection process. It's fine. Take your horse. Then you take it, and they turn it down. They say, no, nah, he's got a scar rule. He's got this. He's got that. You've got documented proof that that horse was inspected by an equine veterinarian licensed in the state of Tennessee, and they're coming in and saying it's not. But now, here, here's the deal on this. Your vet is not going to try to create a problem for you. They're going to tell you the truth. The VMOs seem to, right now, the only thing they're interested in is finding a problem. problem yes. Mm-hmm. They, even if they have to create it, like a field scar, things like this, parting the hair and or pushing the skin together and saying, see right here. I mean, that that's ridiculous. Everybody knows what the Horse Protection Act was written for. And it wasn't written for the horse of today. The trainer that the Horse Protection Act was written because of are no longer, most of them are no longer living. Yes. None of them that I know of right now are showing our training. Yes. And what they're doing, they're punishing the new trainers or the trainers that are actually working today. They are penalizing them for the actions of 50 years ago. And and that's just not right. And it needs to stop. If I'm hoping through the court system that we do that. But remember, video your inspections. Yep. You got anything to add to that? Just you video. Need add, you need to add something? This, this video, <laughs> that's the biggest thing. That's it, video. Yeah. Now, we're going to have some fun. We've got a horse out here with uh, Todd, that uh, Justin Todd and his son. Now, this is Deal's Dancing Lady. Sorry, flax mane and tail. But now, Jackson... He walks these horses through everything before he actually does it. And he does it a bunch of times. Then he will ride them. See how she walked up there and jumped right up on there? Now he's going to back her off because he wants her to go do the teeter totter. And she goes right to that. But now he walks these horses through all this before he ever ever rides them through it. And I, I thought it was fantastic the way they do it. And then they go to the trail ride. But they do a super job. I'm going to tell you, that's a real nice mare. That mare is about right at 16 hands. Yep. And I mean, just... She's a big mare laid back. Yeah. He told me that, he, that Jerry, he said she just so relaxed out there in the woods. That it, he even made a, a comment about it. when she's going through the water that she hit a slick rock, said, kind of slid, never broke the gate, just kept going. She doesn't spook easy. And this is one that we're going to be putting out there on the market. But we've got a few more things to do with her. She's got another week or so out there in what I call boot camp. But they, they do a fantastic job. They they talk about the, they got wild like turkeys, wild turkeys and all that over there that they be out trail riding and they'll get up a covey of them. 
And this is uh, still a young man. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. I bet she's three. She's, yeah. she's fixing me she's four. Three. Yeah. But now she's a good one. Big, laid back, easy to ride. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, they, they do a fantastic job. Yeah, they job do a good job. They, they do a real good they, job. Matter of fact, we're are about to get one from them that's uh, an older mare, but it's something that you and I discussed to where we take this mare and some kids want to learn to ride or want to learn to show. Yes. Then what a horse is gonna pay the entry fee for them to show in a country pleasure, all day pleasure, if they've never shown before, we want them to get involved with a horse. So that's one way of doing it. That's right. You got a horse, and that's something other people can do. If you got a horse in your barn, call some kids up from school. Let your children that go to school ask one of their buddies, say, hey, you want to go to the horse show with me this week? We got a horse you can show. And, and I mean, that'd be a perfect thing for everybody to, to try to do, especially because everybody have a horse in their barn that's broken enough for anybody that can ride and give that person the opportunity to have never showed a horse, I always wanted to show a horse, to get out there to show. Well, I watched that little boy the other day on that spotted horse of yours. Yes. I mean, he's out there. He's doing great. Yeah. So th these are things that people, if you want to be involved in the walking horse industry and really help, do things that promote it. That's right. Do things where the schools look at it and say, hey, that's that's something that our kids get because there's education to get from this. You can get scholarship. Yes. You Call know, it. I figure like this, you know, out in Texas and all them places like that, they have rodeos and they get kids from the school to do it. So why here in Tennessee, we promote the Tennessee Walking Horse. Why we can't do some kind of program where kids can do the Tennessee Walking Horse Show and stuff like that, you know? Well, we already found out that kids, they love horses. Yes. And we're wanting them to get outside. This is a prime way to do it. Get them involved in a horse. I guarantee you, the parents will love you for it. Plus, it'll build our industry. I yep. mean, I, I love these cowboy shows, country cowboy, country shows, all of this. Dave Roberts does a great job with that one. He does over in Belfast. But they, these are ways to get people involved in the walking horse industry. So I'm just telling you, I'm making a suggestion. We're going to do it. Yes. Because that mare, I mean, I could ride her. Mm. I really <laughs> believe that. I could blindfold myself. <laughs> Jimmy could ride her. And, and the last time he was on a horse, <laughs> coffee led him around. <laughs> he couldn't ride. He'd never been on a horse before, except the one at the grocery store. So, yeah. Uh -huh. to do this. <laughs> All right, let's get some uh, Upper Cumberland VPs. Right there, I sing Dixie and Allie Jo Jacobs. Allie Jo does a real good job on them horses now. Do you see where the little girl her father bought Kid Can Do for? Uh -huh. For the 11 and under? Hey, gonna get tight. It is. Allie Jo buddy now, she, she, she's she got it on. That's a nice mare she's riding too. Right here, Jive SS. You know what that SS stands for? Sam Sawyer. That's right. I figured I'd get you on it, but I didn't. <laughs> he says Sam is a good guy. I mean, hey, he's, he's a super good guy. Can ride a horse, train a horse, judge a horse. I mean, he's an all-around yeah, person. He, he's one of the top judges in this it industry. Is. You all I always know when he judges a show, it's going to be judged honestly. That's it. That's it. Yeah. You know, that's something that people, people, and I'm talking about first, second, third, fourth, all the way. Place them where they need to be. That's right. Bob made a great Bob show. Bob made a real good show. Beach Bum Bruce? Yep. I wonder how you come up with that name. I don't know how. I, I'm on, he's at every horse show, so I know he ain't at the beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's a nice horse right there. That's a real nice horse. Bob does a good job. He's a good rider. I Set feel up. like I'm a little attached to that one because I got his mama at the, at the right? boy in there. Did, yeah. did Bob know that? Yeah, mm -hmm. I told him. Yeah. Tell, tell him you'll breed, breed it to one of your studs and then sell him one. Yeah. All 
All right, we're going to start off now with the tennis show, and I'm I'm going to I'm going to come out and I'm going to say this. David Bullock did one heck of a job judging. He did. I mean, this is, and I don't know that he is he does judge before. Or I have he? never heard of him judging before, but I tell you, he done a good job. And the one thing I really liked about him, he paid attention to every horse that come in the ring. He did. And he watched, and you. And you pay that judge, you enter to, for that judge to judge your horse. You couldn't ask for nothing yeah. no better. I mean, he he did a great job. I mean, this this two year Marion Gillen class, I mean, was a real good class. But now, that's one thing I can say about a good judge. That's a sign of a good judge when he pay attention to every horse that comes in the class regardless on what the horse is doing or whatever, he give that person that knowledge of knowing that he's watching their horse. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I wasn't the only one that felt that way. That, yes. That's the main thing, because it's just, just, uh, just, just the way it is. But this one right here, Masters Making Mischief and Sam Martin took the blue. I'm, I am special, Tanner Burks. A bit of extreme Drew Graves. Sipping on gin and juice, Lake Weaver, and addicted to the aura. Finished out the ribbons. There's Sid. Yep. That's that man. Yeah, First time I've ever been in the show ring. Yeah. Sid's a good judge. And he's, a, and he's an amateur. Was in there with all the trainers. I know. Mm-hmm. I, I like watching him. He he is a dog walking. Yeah, <laughs> he, do, he dog walks them horses a lot. There's Brad and Jeremy now. They're saying, "Well, he could, he couldn't. <laughs> he needs to do this." There's Jerry. You watching too, ain't you? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you that that was a good class, and the competition was tough, and you couldn't. You couldn't question the way he tied that. Oh yeah, class. you can't. You couldn't do it. I mean, he had a bunch of good horses in that class, and overall, you know, any judge, you are gonna have your different what you might have would have picked yep. or whatever. But my my biggest goal that I liked about him, he watched every horse, and I paid attention to that. I'm looking at him. He yeah. never turned his back on a horse coming in front of him. No. Well, I'm gonna tell you something else. I, I watched the class. And there was one horse that I didn't like the first way, that when it turned around, I really liked it. But still again, you could not question. Look at there. Now Sam won it. Yeah. So, I mean, you, you, it's just from start to finish, it was a great, it was a great class. Yeah. And, and we'll be talking about the judge in the whole class. There's no doubt about it. But you can just watch every time you look at him. He was watching that horse that came in front of him. He never did turn his back on the horse. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. And that's one of the most aggravating things to me is when you're showing a horse and somebody turned their back and you come right in front of them and look oh, right Lord. across the other. Well, I've seen it before. Yeah. And it's kind of like they've already decided that we ain't going to tie that one. Well, it doesn't make no difference. It's showing disrespect. Yeah. Now, here, here's one that you and I came up with this, and, and, and I got them to include it in the first show, but now, here's the deal on these two. They didn't do the lead line. That's right. None of that, None they, of they, they, Bentley, I was looking out there and I said, Bentley, that's Bentley bomb out there. And he's only six years old. Yeah, and he, he's only six. And first time he ever been in a ring by himself. <laughs> that's it. And I mean, I thought both of them kids done a wonderful job. I love this class right here. I think it's a hey. class that, you know. Well, Jose today and Mackenzie Davis won it. And a bit of change in Bentley bomb was reserved. But when you go look, hey, there wasn't a hair's worth of difference between them that's two. That's right. And they did. Now, I... I was, it, it just shocked me. But now there was a lot of eyes on him. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was talking to Jacob the other day and he said that Bentley is telling his mom that she want, he want to show her horse now. <laughs> He's ready for her horse. Well, that's what happened. Yeah. When, when, you get them, when you get them in there, eventually they're going to start wanting that other horse. Yeah. I mean, that's a, he done a good job. Both of them kids, I'm going to tell you, 
I'm for, proud for both of them. Hey, for six years old? Yep. And I'm not sure how old Mackenzie is. I think she's about maybe 10. Yeah. Is she that old? Uh, pretty close. She's about right around that age right there. But I'm going to tell you, that tell you a lot for that horse, that, that Bentley ride, both of them horses right there. Yeah, they both I doing mean, good. That horse well, is taking okay. care of them kids around yeah. there. Well, we videoed uh, the uh, Jose today for, with Mackenzie out at the barn one day when we was out there talking to Dan. Uh-huh. Thank you, riders. So I, I've seen her ride before. And she, I mean, she loves it. Yeah. But that, that's a that's a great class for these kids. That's a good started. class for the kids. And Carol Missile Dime's gonna include that one in her show in July. They have some new shows too. Uh, that, and that's like we was talking about getting horses, even a performance horse. If somebody got a horse and they born that's good enough for that's anybody it. to ride, get a kid to ride it. Yeah. Right here's another one. Three-year-old married gilding class. This was another good class, real good class. Hot Streak and Sam Martin took the blue for Don Bullock. Red Friari, Tyler Balkum. Charleston Jazz, Tanner Burks. I like it, thank you. Mm -hmm. Sephora, John Allen Calloway, and Mama's Money. Buddy, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mama's Money, <laughs> you better believe it. But now this was another class that was full of good horses. There's one thing I can say. I saw a lot of, you, you could tell some of these horses had, had not been shown. Yeah. They were getting them in there and getting them shown. And they, I mean, some good stock. Some real good stuff. And I tell you, they had a, a real good show there. They Jerry. did. They, I mean, they did. and stay on the weather and all that stuff, and they had to move it. I mean, it was a it was a good move for them to move it here than where they was gonna have well, it because it was too wet over at the other place. They made an emergency move that, that really paid off big time yes. for them. Because there were some good, good classes. Yeah. Glad to see Blaze back in the saddle. Oh, yeah, boy. Showing. Good thing about it, it wasn't dusty. Yeah, it wasn't. Now, it wasn't. So, anytime we can have a show like that, but look how many horses are in there, and it's not dusty at all. Hey. And the biggest thing of what I like to see on this show right here too, you don't see a horse that's out of line nope. that you see video that's in that ring right there. And that's a class full of good horse. That's a class full of horses right there. I saw one that was off in his back end, and I, I was watching him, and but you knew in your mind that it was the bit. Yeah. By watching what he was doing. But look at that yeah, lineup of horses, horses down right there. through there yeah. in this class. And he reached in there and got five that I thought. That's I right. I mean, I really did. When you, each time that camera goes by, if you look at him when he's judging, he's watching the horses. But his, to say that, and I, and I don't know for sure, but I, that's the first time I ever seen judge around here. But I need I've been to saying, find out. Because but, to say, it, but to say that in that class right there, he done a good job. Hey, you couldn't beat what he did. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll let you, I'm going to see if you do a good job. We'll be right back after these messages. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> CJ's tired. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had. 
since the last time you were here, to old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communication. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. I'll tell you one thing I was tickled to see, we, we're still selling horses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, there, there's been some real high-priced horses sold and was, had some not so high-priced. And then you had some middle range and so a uh, kid can do. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. they're going to make a Lebanon underclass uh, horse out of him, which that's a great move. Oh, yeah, it is a great move. But it's good to see people thinking positive. positive yeah. And, and getting involved. That that's it. We we got to keep it going. Here we go. Now this this is what I really liked. You show pleasure. That horse right there. I've yeah. seen him get tied down at times he thought that he won the class. Yes. That to Django, to Jano and Daniel Smith. Now Daniel's a great rider. Super good rider. His grandparents, Larry and Elsie West, now they they, they know. But now that's that, a nice that's a, horse. Yes, he is. Well armed American and Reese Abernathy was reserved. Now she's an Abernathy. She she can ride a while yeah, ago. Uh -huh. hey, no doubt about it. That's well armed American. My name Jose, Georgia Hazelwood, and good time. Boston Kate Tillman. And Front nine, Bray Lavorn and Wicked Jolene, Dakota Gardner. Finished no, oh, I got into the other class. That's what I get for bending these papers. There's only four in that class. But we mentioned the other two girls that was in the class after this. Yeah. That's a Daniel, nice horse. Hey, Daniel's a good rider now. Oh, yeah. Now he is. Georgia is. is. Mm -hmm. Now she's a hard working young lady yes, too, she is. buddy. She Believe is. me, she is. And she's got some good lead line. But that horse right there doing what your show pledge horse will do. Nice and easy. Just smooth free going smooth. I got that right there looking good. Yeah. I think that's Reese Abernathy. Tell you what, these kids, the young ones especially, they, they get busy now. Oh yeah, they do. Thank you, riders, in this line of time over on the grandstand side, please. Tejano. And right there he is. Tejano. Daniel Smith. I tell you what, he's a nice young man too. Yeah. His his sister's fixing to start showing. Hope they don't put them in the same class. <laughs> It is a nice horse. It is a nice Smith horse. He sits just like a trainer. Uh -huh. now, he does. He really does. Uh 
Right here, 15, two and under. Tim Smith and I am fearless took the blue in this class. A great honor, Dan Waddell. Powers Plowboy, Sam Martin. Desperate Man, Tyler Balkum. And Record High, Nick Plafkin finished out the ribbons. Nice class of horses. Run and walk. Now show the run and walk, please. Well, they serve some pretty good beans and cornbread yeah. that night mm -hmm. too. Dan showed 11 horses over there. I love this class. Oh, yeah. It wasn't a, a large class, but it had two good ones in there. Hard Eight and Skylar Nipper took the blue. This guy is a good rider. Yes, she is. Beautiful young yeah. lady. Fly Like an Eagle and Ben Moss was reserved, but you're talking about two nice horses yeah. in there. Two real nice put horses. put on a heck of a show. And that, that horse right there is beautiful. Beautiful young lady on a beautiful horse. I'd tie her to. Yep. She loves to ride them horses now. Yeah, she's... she does. But I'm going to tell you, I've seen her in, in a lot of classes where I was able to She's done one this that, yeah. that she didn't get the nod. She's and taking out that granddaddy. Oh, yeah. Joy was a good one. Yeah. And Billy was my sweetheart. Yeah. Now, I, I love Billy Nipper. She's just a heck of a lady. Be very proud of her. Mm -hmm. Right there she is, hard eight and Skylar Nipper. Show pleasure amateur winner. And buddy, she she deserved it. Yep, she did. That horse didn't miss a lick that I saw. No, that's a nice horse, real nice horse. Tell you what, it stands out with that outfit she's got on yeah. too. A mom and a grandmother is there rooting hey. on. Getting it done. All day pleasure, amateur. You can't beat this. You gotta always have one of these in there. Oh yeah. She's Saucerita and Lauren Williams took the blue. Adeline Ritz, Jacqueline Way. Horatio Kane, Alex Blackburn, Happy Face, Kathy Holland, and I'm loving it, Lisa McMahon. What more can you ask for? There's a, I may be mistaken, but I don't think I am, but there's a Saucerita that's a padded horse too, isn't it? I'm thinking so. Yeah. All right, one. All right Amateur Ladies Gilding. Oh, this is your pony class, I believe. Right, eh? Yep. 
what it was that I read the wrong one. <laughs> I read the wrong. <laughs> that it is saucer. It is a bad yeah. part. <laughs> I had the wrong list up here. It's hard to do this and stay, keep it straight. But Salsarita, Lauren Williams, Adeline Rich, Jacqueline Way, and Horatio Kane, Alex Blackburn, Happy Face, Kathy Holland, and I'm loving it, Lisa McMahon. This was the, but I kind of thought I screwed up when I seen Lisa McMahon. Yeah, me too. I was like, because she doesn't show flat shot. out horses. And the, the correct way for, for the all day pleasure was Cali, <laughs> Caliente and his Strokesbury. She's never been kissed. Kimberly Walden, Much Ado, Connie Everett, Dangerous Company, Keely McGee, and an urban legend, Leslie Starkey. And I do apologize. I should have had the correct paper in front of me. It was a nice a class of nice horses right here. It was. This is the pony class here, isn't it? My ticket to ride Ray Abernathy took the blue for Sandy Shoemate, Anthony Davis, Jaden Jackson was reserved. It's walk time, Lisa Baum and Miss Charlie Walker. Joseph Abernathy finished out the ribbon. Unless I've really got this messed up. Yeah, I believe you got this one really messed up here, Jerry. He's still a ladies <laughs> amateur class right here. I done jumped the class. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Everybody knows I'm about half nuts. So that jacket that one. That's still on it right there. Lisa. Mm. Yeah, that, that was out of line. Yeah. Amateur ponies. Now I'm going. I'm going to play catch up. <laughs> My ticket to ride and. Ray Abernathy took the blue for Sandy Shoemate. Anthony Davis and Jaden Jackson. It's walk time. Lisa Baum and Miss Charlie Walker, Joseph Abernathy finished out the ribbons. I knew eventually I'd catch up and get it right. I'm going to tell you something. I was listening to Ray Abernathy and Sandy was walking around with the baby. Did you hear that baby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she was jabbering up a storm. I, I told her, I said she practiced him for when her mama's in there riding. Yeah. <laughs> but now she did. She just talking up a storm. Now was this a this pony? Uh, uh, um, there's two Abernathys in this same class yeah. right here. That's the husband and, and one, one of them going to finish first and one of them is going to come in yeah. uh, at the end. But he got beat by three ladies, so he all not mad. <laughs> <laughs> he all not care. He should have known better. That's right. <laughs> well, Go in there and show against I your sister-in-law. Who heard of it? <laughs> Amateur Pony Wonder, my ticket to ride, and Ray Abernathy for Sandy Shoemate. Tell you what, that, that ticket to ride has been good for a while. And that young lady can flat ride. Oh, yes, yeah, she can ride. I mean, she's a good jockey.
I know one thing, when they had that baby, the lead line future just got tough. Oh yeah. Good show, good really ride. Show. I mean, that yep. was, mm -hmm. couldn't beat that. All right, you, you're gonna have to do your job again and then we will uh, continue the show. How's that? That'll work. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. During the 2024 breeding season, you will find one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, I Am Mighty Jose, standing at Precious Memories Farm in the heart of walking horse country. Call Daniel Miller at 931-703-5830 to schedule your mare. Breeding fee is $750, live full guarantee. Multi-mare discounts are available on request. I am Mighty Jose, a consistent winner in both open and amateur competition. So make that call today to start the process of raising a Tennessee walking horse champion. The Tennessee walking horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee walking horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee walking horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee walking horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. More of What a Horse, coming up. Well, if I'd have messed that one up, I would have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we, we were talking about, we got confused because I was talking about Joseph showing against his sister-in-law. Yeah. And I was right, he was showing against his sister-in-law. All righty, two-year-old stallion. I really like this horse. No, I really did. I like the name, too. The Reckoning, and Sam Martin took the blue for Joe Link. I'm Stormin' Norman, Tyler Balkum. Stingray, Nick Plafkin. I'm a Superman, Tanner Burks, and Super Formant. Oh, that's a neat name, Super Formula. Mm -hmm. And Jalen Foster finished out the ribbon. That is pretty neat. I'll tell you what, all said and done, this tennis show turned out to be pretty oh, yeah. turned out to be a good show. Pretty good show with some real nice horses in there. Reckon and just got the right oh, yeah. enough color that when you it gets your attention. Good color, and I mean, yeah. it, it, that, that's what I'm saying. It gets your attention. Uh -huh. That white, 
Right here's your grooms class. Now, this is something I always like to see, a good grooms yeah. class. Master Design and Sam Perkins took the blue. That's for Jack Heffington. Jack seems to be doing better. Yeah. Tony the Pony. Richard Bug Skeeter was reserved. Honorette. Taylor Cannon. And the Hellcat. Jamie Smith finished out the ribbons. That was a good class. It was. Shows what these grooms can do. Yeah. And see that right there is like class we're talking, talking about. about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's one that ain't got no tail brace on. There's one with the tail brace. Oh, Richard Streeter right there doing yeah. a good job on old Tony Pony. Yeah, that bags. Thing, yeah, that right there doesn't have a tail brace on. Yeah. I knew I wasn't seeing things. That class we're talking about might be full of drink. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sam just stick it, can you? Oh, yeah. But he has to have a pretty tall horse. Oh, don't yeah. Feet dragged around. <laughs> Three-year-old stallion. Powerball. Lake Weaver took the blue for Karen Bean. Jose is a desperate man, Tim Smith. Noah Jenda. Jacqueline Anderson. Anderson. Honors Ritzy man, Tanner Burks. And unspoken honors, John Allen Calloway finished out the ribbons. Some good horses in here. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. But from top to bottom, they had a nice show. Well judged show. That's one thing I can say when, when I posted that about the judging. Everybody was in agreement. Oh, yeah. I mean, but nobody said anything negative about it. So when that happens, you know you're dead on. That's horse right there. Yeah. see video like this with classes that got a lot of horses in them. They're so much fun just sitting and watching. Oh yeah, they are. There's Tim. Right here is your state class. Old Dan, he, he, the second coming of Jimmy McConnell. Yeah. You know that? Mm -hmm. Master of Design and Dan Waddell took the blue for Brenda Mormon. Knocked down drag out and Tyler Balkum was reserved and no boo. Blaze Picard finished out the ribbon. But it's getting where every time you look up, Dan's in there in the yeah. state class. And, and come on, right there's another, Blaze McCard. Yeah. If she's got a stake horse, you're going to see her in it. Now it's canter time. Show up the canter. Three 
Yeah, the tenor. Oh, yeah. That's what I always look when I'm watching one. If I really like it, uh -huh. I wait until they call the canter and see how easy he goes into it. It was a good class right here. Yeah, it was. We got quiet because we was we was judging ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Especially you don't get to see a class and you go to watching it and you, get, you forget. <laughs> when you when you just get to see them all and, yeah. and you just keep seeing them, it, it you get to seeing things and, and you say, "Yep, he did this right," and he did. Especially when you're showing a show, you, you don't get to see all the classes, so when you get to see them, you get quiet because you go to watching that class. Well, I'm going to tell you, to me, hey, them, them, them classes we saw, they were super. They were. They were some good and, classes. And we're about out of time. I want to remind everybody, video your inspections. Fun show starts Thursday night, first class 6 p.m., Cooper Steel Arena in Shelbyville, Tennessee. And I'm looking forward to seeing everybody there. That's right. And I will say good luck at the horse show and bring your horse and show. That's it. See you all next week. See you. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left Hunker down low and reach high to the sky Got my rhythm down pat, so they say I'm looking like a winner in every way So when I hear somebody say, what a horse I know they're talking about me, of course And I'm gonna be in that winner's circle someday I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.